In this video, I want to share with you some color combinations that I think always look so expensive and so elegant. And yes, I will show you some of the mistakes you might make when wearing a color in your everyday styles. Okay, agree, let's be honest, it's not only about colors, but those color combinations that I'm going to show you here in this video will instantly make your outfit look more sophisticated and more chic. Hello, my name is Elena, I'm a professional stylist and I'm a big fan of styling in color. So when we're talking about expensive colors, of course, we're talking about neutrals. But for me, it's not only about all neutrals, but first of all, it's about white color. And very important note for you here, not just pure white, but natural whites like creamy, off-white, ivory, the ones that you see in nature and in classic art. That's what we're thinking about when creating expensive looks. First of all, these white colors, they work with a wider range of skin tones and look more natural and classy. By the way, watch this video till the end, because closer to the end of this video, I will show you how to adjust those color combinations to your skin tone. So let's start. My outfit number one. Start with the total of white or creamy or anything like that. So total of white and then add a touch of khaki and olive greens. It's a monochromatic color combo because we've got green in two calm shades, dusty muted green and dark green. These colors give you that earthy feeling and it's perfect to kind of anchor and ground that total white underlayer. What I love about those green shades is that you will see those combinations in many old paintings and tapestries. And that's why we have a very good association with these colors. They subconsciously are connected to classical art in our memory. But the appearance of white here in this outfit makes the color combo look fresh and young. Elegant, classy and unpredictable. I do really hope that you like it. By the way, I will link all the fashion pieces I'm wearing here in this video down in the description box, along with all the necessary information to recreate my outfits. Outfit number two, camel, caramel, and dusty pink. Total beige outfits seem interesting to me. They look so calming, but I want to show you something more advanced. Don't be afraid to step forward. Add a touch of dusty pink to your beige tones. It's something you don't see that often, so instantly it catches your eye. I'm showing you my outfit to visualize the color combination and inspire you. But in your case, it could be a mix of different pieces. My goal here is to show you the beauty and the power of styling in color. So, camel, caramel and dusty pink. Outfit number three. Take a total navy blue outfit and spice it up with a touch of royal blue. It will give the outfit a bit of depth and what I call three-dimensional look because we have two tones of one color, dark blue and more saturated vibrant blue. Beautiful combination. And the second version of almost the same outfit is adding a burgundy accents. So I'm talking about total dark navy blue outfits because I know many of you consider this color combination one of the most expensive and uh, elegant. That's why I'm giving you two alternative options of how you can upgrade your total navy blue outfit. I adore this combination. Total navy blue plus burgundy accents. It's so polished and elegant. It's one of my favorites one of that kind that stands against time. Each color by itself is so classic and pairing them together is definitely a wonderful idea. Tell me in the comments which total navy blue combination is uh, the most beautiful for you, what do you prefer? So let's move on. Outfit number five, and it's a bit complicated, but I will explain you everything. So off-white plus dusty pink plus olive green. 
So this complicated color scheme is actually quite easy to pull off, but the effect is amazing. Take an off-white sweater or any other knitwear, add an olive green scarf, coat, coat, jacket, whatever you have out there, and add some dusty pink details. If you're feeling bold enough, just add some burgundy details and you'll have an unforgettable look. You can easily explain this scheme if you know the basics of color theory. So green and red actually is a complementary color combination. Complementary colors are opposite to each other on a color wheel. So if you do not understand what I'm talking about, please watch my video about complementary color combinations. I have explained everything in a very understandable and easy way. I will leave the link somewhere in the description box. So here in my outfit, let's come back to my outfit. Green turns into a pale olive, red turns into pale pink and burgundy, two different tones of one red color. Knowing the basics of color theory makes it so much easier to create amazing color combinations. Hope I have inspired you not to be afraid of a color. Outfit number six, chocolate brown and burgundy. Especially when we're talking about total beige or total brown outfits, I would recommend you go for burgundy accents. It looks like both colors are so related to each other, you don't see a harsh contrast between them, and that is something that makes the outfit look so calming. I'm wearing a third hue actually here, a russet dress which works as a bridge between those two colors because russet is basically a mix of brown and burgundy. And the luxurious, soft wool textures enhance the effect. And again, I want to emphasize here that the colors you're wearing in your portrait zone should first of all correlate to your skin tones, especially if you're not wearing a lot of makeup on a daily basis, but this video is not about that. So back to the point of my video, actually you can easily change the depth of any color I'm wearing here in this video. So for example, you can choose lighter or you can choose darker tones of both colors in my outfit and adjust them to your skin tone. Or you can make both colors cooler if you're a cooler undertone girl. It sounds so funny, like cooler undertone girl. <laughs> So I'm showing you how to play with the temperatures of this color combination and you can do the same with all the rest colors, color combinations I'm wearing here in this video. Or subscribe to my channel if you want to learn and master the styling in color and uh, styling in general. That's what my channel is all about. Let's move on. Outfit 7, another very easy to copy color combination, which is so elegant and so chic. So off-white plus camel plus caramel. So what do I mean? I mean off-white plus shades of beige. And one more time, be careful with the temperature of your beige pieces, fashion pieces that you're wearing in one outfit, because it might be tricky. I do not recommend mixing two different beige temperatures in one look. For example, I'm showing you a cold beige sweater plus warm beige pants. I can feel a lack of coordination here. It looks incohesive, well, as for me. So just keep it in mind. And one more time, what I'm trying to tell you, we're talking about total beige outfit. So we're talking about one outfit and one monochromatic color combination of different shades of beige. This is where you have to be very careful with because again, mixing different temperatures of beige is not a good idea, but you can wear the same temperature of beige, like for example, warm beige in a lighter or in a darker shade and that will work beautifully. As my example I'm showing to you, I'm wearing off-white plus I'm wearing lighter camel and a bit darker color caramel, which is almost the same color, uh, warm beige, but a lighter and a darker version. 
Let me clarify one more time. I'm not against wearing two different colors of different temperatures. For example, blue plus yellow, that might be a beautiful color combination. What I'm talking about here is wearing one monochromatic outfit, like total beige outfit, and wearing two different hues, warm beige and cold beige in one outfit. That might be tricky. This is what you have to be careful with. Outfit 8, and let's talk about total gray outfit. So my first idea is total gray plus teal. And why teal, you may ask? Why not yellow or orange? A short and easy answer would be the following. So there are three groups of colors, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Three primary colors are red, yellow, blue. Secondary colors are those that are created by the equal mixture of two primary colors. So secondary colors are orange, purple, and green. And tertiary colors are a combination of primary and secondary colors. So teal, magenta, amber, all those super complicated colors that have specific names. Those colors, tertiary colors, create the most intellectual and deep, I would say, impact on your styling. So let me clarify again, I'm not talking about this is bad or this is good. I'm just showing you and trying to show you the difference between simple colors, those are like primary and secondary colors, and more complicated for understanding, complicated colors like tertiary colors. I would love to wear total gray with the yellow or with orange, that's what I do on a daily basis, but if you are thinking about more sophisticated outfits, think about more bringing more tertiary colors to your wardrobe. And especially if we're talking about muted colors, like there's a percentage of gray color inside of these colors. This works even more because we have an association with the classic art. And if we look at the pictures and the paintings of, for example, Renaissance, you will see tertiary muted colors. You will not see bright, vibrant yellow or orange. You will see muted tertiary colors. And this is what we are thinking about when we are talking about expensive color combinations. So you can easily Google what is tertiary colors, have this list uploaded to your smartphone, and next time you go to shopping, you have this list somewhere uploaded. And the last color combination in this video, I wanted to represent something really, really simple. So pair total gray and whites. If you're a fan of gray tones, think about adding whites to your styles. It's much more unexpected than combining gray with the black pieces, and it brightens up gray so beautifully. Definitely looks chic and polished, and the soft wool texture gives it even more of a luxurious touch. All the links are waiting for you in the description box, as always. So, like always, I do really hope that my color combinations and my outfits gave you some of inspiration and encouraged you to wear more, more colors in your everyday styles. Share this video with your friends, subscribe for more mindful style tips here on my channel, and see you in the next one! So good news is you're still here. It means that you want to watch another video by Elena. Yes, you do. I do recommend you to watch another video on my channel, very popular one, how to wear color. I gave all the information, color theory you want to know to start wearing colors in your everyday style. So click this button and of course, subscribe if you want more mindful style tips and see you in the next one.